got a lot of video game news to talk about this week, so let's jump right in. So, a uh, new game came out this week, absolutely exploding. Uh, it's called New World. It's an online MMORPG, and it's basically funded or created by uh, Amazon. Yes, Amazon.com were the people that you know were involved with the creation of this game. I think they were the both the publisher and like producer. They gave money, so it's like an in-game uh, development studio that made this for them. A uh, pretty big game right now. A lot of people are playing it. It's breaking all sorts of records and things like that. And it looks really, really exciting. I want to play this. Uh, I haven't actually had a chance to play it yet, but it looks great. I've watched some ASMR like videos and streams and things, and the game looks great. So that's like a big new release that just came out this week. Uh, next we have... <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. So next we have these rumors that have been circulating for months now. And these are the rumors about GTA Trilogy, the remake of the GTA Trilogy that I've been talking about for weeks. I always get comments, people saying, this isn't true, it's all fake. But every single week, there's more and more things that point to this actually happening. So this week, a rating in Korea accidentally leaked. Uh, you see, games are rated in Korea, and when they do this, they upload it online, and sometimes they'll rate games early before they're even announced, and there's nothing, you know, they can do to save that, so when people see it, they know a game is coming, so this pretty much confirms it officially because Korea rated GTA Trilogy for the Nintendo Switch. And then people noticed that it had listings for Xbox and PlayStation, and it's probably going to be on PC as well. So it's very, very likely that in the next few weeks, we're going to get some kind of GTA announcement for a remastered uh, trilogy of some kind. And I can't wait to see what we get. It, it's going to be awesome. Uh, let's see, let's see. What else, what else, what else do we got here? Um, we got some news about the upcoming Spider-Man game, uh, Spider-Man 2. Uh, apparently, according to the people involved with the creation of Spider-Man 2, uh, they said that this Spider-Man game is going to be darker than the previous games and it's going to kind of be like their empire strikes back of course that's a reference to the star wars movie uh empire strikes back for those that don't know is a much darker and serious movie than the original star wars was and it seems like spider-man 2 might be just like that they might have some characters die possibly Maybe something bad happens to Spider-Man or Miles Morales, we don't know. But uh, this is going to be exciting to see for sure, so this is going to be a big game. Can't wait to see what they do. Uh, we got great news for Battlefield 2042 fans. The beta is finally going to be coming out next week on PlayStation 5 and PS4, and I think PC and uh xbox should be getting the beta as well but i'm gonna have to check more on that because i think sony got some kind of like early beta exclusive possibly but i do have the pc version pre-ordered so hopefully i can get into the beta for all of you and i can't wait to play battlefield 2042 this game is gonna be crazy i'm hyped Nintendo this week had a special Pokemon uh, live stream event where they basically like showed off trailers for their two big upcoming Pokemon games. So we got an amazing trailer for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And let me tell you, if you were on the fence about this Pokemon game, 
you have to go watch the new trailer that just came out. This is going to make you want to play it immediately. The graphics look amazing. And you're visiting, like, all these, you know, iconic areas. I haven't seen these places since the Nintendo DS when I first played Pokemon Diamond. So, seeing them with, like, better graphics on the Switch kind of made me, like, nostalgic for, like, the DS. Anyone have a DS when they were younger? That was, like, the best. And this game is going to be awesome. Uh, I, I don't know which one I'm going to pick up. I think I'll probably get Diamond, but go check out the trailer. Nintendo and Pokemon, they basically convinced everybody with this trailer that this is going to be a really quality game. Because some people were skeptical from a previous trailers not looking or running too good, but this new one, really, really awesome. And the same for the upcoming Pokemon Legends Arceus game. So, they released a new trailer showing more about this game. And you know what? I'm, I'm coming around on it. I think this has a lot of potential. It's going to be different than other Pokemon games. Apologies for that. It's like a mini refrigerator just turns on. It's annoying. <laughs> if you can hear that, sorry. But, uh, yeah. Pokemon Legends Arceus is going to be big. They released a new trailer. It looks good. It's going to be different than other Pokemon games, but I like that. Uh, I have to say the graphics don't really look that great, but I'm sure the game is going to be really, really fun to play, which is what matters the most. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, so, they revealed a very first look at the Last of Us HBO series, and I'll post that right here. So, this is our first look at what Last of Us on HBO is going to look like. I think it definitely captured the feel and the look of the games. So yeah, I just have really, really high hopes for this TV show. I think it's going to be great. Uh, let's see. Next, we got some news about... Uh, well, this is actually pretty interesting. So apparently there's a rumor circulating that the people, the developers that made... Destruction All-Stars for the PlayStation 5 are going to be involved with the development for a new Twisted Metal game, which is kind of insane. We haven't had a Twisted Metal game since the PlayStation 3. The uh, last one did okay, so it makes sense that Sony wants to revisit this series, this franchise, with a new game. But, uh, yeah, the Destruction All-Stars developers... That game got okay reviews, uh, it's kind of dead online the last time I played it. It was fun for a little bit, but, uh, I wonder, I wonder if they can actually do something with that, uh, it'll be interesting to see if this rumor turns out to be true or not. I'm sure Destruction All-Stars, you know, the developers for that might be able to do something special with Twisted Metal, so we'll see what they can do. Uh, Jeff Keighley announced that he's going to be hosting the Game Awards again this year in December. So if you're a fan of video games and you want to watch an award show where they give out awards to the best games of the year, you're going to want to tune into the Game Awards. Uh, and the thing that I like the most about the Game Awards, which Jeff Keighley basically already confirmed, is unannounced games and secret uh, reveals and things like that. So usually we get like 10 unannounced game trailers or things like that at the Game Awards. So who knows what we're going to get this year. Hopefully it's some amazing games. They usually like show them off for the first time ever at this event. So I'll definitely be tuning in. Um, kind of curious what game is going to win Game of the Year. Uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think is going to win Game of the Year 2021. Uh, I've heard of, <laughs> I've heard a lot of people saying they have like favorite games, and I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea what's going to win because there's a, there's a bunch of great games this year, both on PlayStation, PC, even Nintendo has some good stuff. So it'll be interesting. Uh, a patent reveal this week. Yes, someone actually went through patents at a uh, patent uh, website. 
and it revealed that Nintendo is working on an upscaling device or some kind of upscaling technology. What this means is Nintendo might potentially be creating something to allow 4K or even 8K resolution for their games on monitors or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Just some little insider information. I guess Nintendo didn't really want to get out there, but seems like they are working on something. I wonder if maybe they're they're planning a new system or something after the Switch that could possibly use this upscaling technology so they could upscale the graphics of older systems to a higher resolution. We're just going to have to see though. And last piece of news is uh, for this game that I'm kind of excited for. It's called Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. It's coming out on the 18th of March. It's a new Final Fantasy game. I love this series, and this game is very, very different from all the other Final Fantasy games. It's very strange, but they released a new trailer yesterday, and the combat looks amazing. It looks really fast and action-heavy, like super, like, hack-and-slash action. So I'm into that kind of thing in RPGs and action games. If I have to say, it kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts a little bit. So I definitely want to play the, uh, definitely go check out the trailer for yourself. Even if you're not a Final Fantasy fan or you never played Final Fantasy, just check out the trailer for Stranger of Paradise on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all the big video game news this week. If I want to go further, I guess I can talk about one final piece of news here. Uh, I know I said the last one was the last, but uh, there's a rumor circulating that Konami is planning on getting back into video games after Hideo Kojima left the company. And I say left, even though he was fired by Konami back when uh, Metal Gear Solid V came out. Konami basically was like, hey, we, we're not going to make games anymore. We don't care about them. So now it seems like Konami really wants to get their game fans back on their good side. So there's a rumor circulating that Konami is planning to make a new Metal Gear Solid game, a new Silent Hill game, and a new Castlevania game. It, it seems like they're planning to revive all of these older series for new fans on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox and PC. So I wonder if this is actually going to happen. Nothing's been confirmed, but there are rumors out there. So I think this has potential just because in the past few months, there have been a lot of rumors about a new Metal Gear, a new Castlevania, and a new Silent Hill. So it seems like they are actually working on something. So it's going to be cool to see what they do. But uh, anyway, that's all the video game news for this week. Thank you all for listening, for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. So long.